Hey everyone, welcome back. In this JavaScript tutorial, we are going to learn more about the operators in JavaScript. So previously, we have understood about the arithmetic and assignment operator because these are very, very commonly used that we'll be using frequently in our API testing. Along with that, we'll be using the comparison operator, string con concatenation very frequently, right? We'll be using the uh, bitwise so bitwise won't be used frequently but comparison logical uh, and uh, string operations will be used very very frequently and apart from logical bitwise there are more operators like ternary and if there is a need and there is any scenario that i'm going to cover as part of the api i'll be anyways covering all of these operators in future but to get started you need to understand the assignment arithmetic right comparison okay string concatenation and the logical operators that's the basic right so logical i'll cover later but let me cover a little a little more on the comparison right so comparison as the name suggests basically greater than less than whether it's equal to or not equal to okay and same thing happens with the logical right so for example this equals this or not so we'll be using all of that very frequently in api testing so let's quickly go ahead with the little bit of the comparison and understand the comparison operators for example we have the value h and we have the value g okay so for let me comment everything at the top of, and we'll start fresh so i've commented everything here okay and let's say i define a variable so i'll say let x is 10 okay and then let y is equal to 10 okay so now comparison operators pretty simple i can say you know i i want to check whether x is equal to y or x is greater than y or not right so i can simply say print it right so i can say console.log and i'll say x greater than y okay and what this will return is basically it will compare right so it's comparing the value x if x is greater than y or not okay if it is greater than y then it will print true if it is not then it will print false so let me send this and see what is the value printed in the console okay so there's a mistake here okay so console let me say console yeah the spelling mistake okay so we have to add e there and then okay so you'll see that it has written false because x is not greater than y both are equal okay so this is how the comparison operator so there are different comparison operator greater than less than greater than or equal to if i change this to greater than or equal to right now this will in this case return what it will return true because x is equal to y right so it is not greater than but it is equal to okay so if i get, go to console again here you will see this time should print true right so it has printed true let me clear it and send again so you'll see true got printed okay so this is how the comparison operator usually works so very common one greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to okay and then equal to is with double equals okay so if i say check whether x is equal to y so this is double equals to okay if it is single equal that means it's an assignment operator it's not an equal to it's an assignment operator make sure of that okay so this is briefly about some of the comparison operators okay that you need to be aware of not equal to is this right so check whether x is not equal to y so i i'll simply say not equal to with the exclamation sign okay and in this case it should print what it should print false y because x is equal to y okay so if i say if i want to check not equal to so you'll see it has printed false in this particular case okay so this is basically what the comparison operators are all about so this is about the number comparison okay same thing we can do with the string okay so string mostly will be doing concatenation but I can say you know uh, uh, I can define a variable okay so I can say string variable uh, and then I say name okay and I say rcv okay now the, because this is string I'll put it in the double quotes there okay and then I'll say let last name academy okay so these two are strings now i can use the same comparison operators for the string as well okay let me print console dot log okay and i can say check whether name is greater than l name let's see what what it prints right it doesn't make sense but let's see what happens so in this case it printed true right so if i 
comment this one okay so let me comment the first one save it clear the logs and see what is the printed value here so it has printed True. So how it has calculated that this name string is greater than L name? It's based on the alphabet. Okay. So the alphabetical. So basically RCV. Okay. Uh, it starts with R. R is greater than A. Right. So it's basically it calculates based on the alphabet. So if I change this to, for example, S. Okay. So R, S is greater than R. Right. So R and then comes S. So if I change it to S, you will see the result has changed to false right so string comparison happens based on the alphabets okay let me clear this but the important thing here is the concatenation okay so if say for example i want to concatenate rcv and academy okay so i want to concatenate name and l name so i can say simply the concatenation the plus operator okay so i can say console.log and then i will simply say concatenate name with last name okay so i can say something like that and it will concatenate the value okay so if i want to space there what i'll do i'll simply put the plus sign and then i'll put a space there okay and then again a plus sign this is how we are going to concatenate so the first name plus is the concatenation which is concatenating this space sign okay the space the one space that we have given between this first name and last name and then concatenate concatenates the last name okay so it will be having rcv space academy now you'll see rcv space academy has so this is how we are going to concatenate okay now say for example i want to say console dot log okay so i can also do concatenation something like console dot log and then within quotes i can say welcome to right and then i can put a space itself here okay so there will be a space and then i can say plus name okay which will concatenate rcv okay because name variable holds rcv okay and then i want a space between rcv and academy so i'll simply say plus and then put double quotes there put a space there okay and then again plus l name okay and to keep it a little clean we can you know anyways put a space there okay something like that okay but ideally that's the only space you will need okay so because we are putting the space between the first name and last name and then there is a space between two and the name okay so if i save it and send it so you'll see welcome to rcv space academy right so welcome to this space comes from here if i don't put a space here okay then see how the result will appear so you'll see welcome to and then straight after two there is a rcv and then space academy right so basically just play around how you are going to concatenate use the uh, string operator basically the plus to concatenate the string within javascript playing around different combinations reading a little bit about the javascript documentation will help you a lot to understand these operators now there are many operators but whatever i am covering is more than enough basically to get started with api testing and even up to a larger extent this this is the this is the max that you will basically need and there will be more things obviously that will be required as we go along with the api testing but as and when those sort of scenarios come in and if there is something some other operators that i am using okay i'll be covering those as well as part of this series okay so start building from scratch the basics clear them first and then we'll start learning the advanced concept so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching